<sighs> Nothing like a cold coke in the morning to wake you up. Yeah, that'll do it. What's up everyone? Today we got an iPad Mini 1 charging port replacement. Um, I've already got the iPad disassembled. Um, we're just gonna take this off and put a new one on. Um, you don't necessarily have to take the board out um, in order to do the charging port replacement on this one. Uh, charging port uh, is soldered on top of the board, um, unlike the Mini 2 where, it, where it's underneath. Um, <clears throat> the only thing you have to be careful with is the battery so just make sure you cover it with something make sure you're not going to poke it with a soldering iron um, so uh, let's go ahead and get to work on this baby so. Alright, so you might have seen me doing it a little, I don't know, I guess it's not really weird, it's just the way I do it, I mean everyone does something a little bit differently, um, but what I like to do is just get kind of like a blob and then just uh, drag it around, make sure it's on every pad, and then I like to go one by one, um, make sure it's got enough on there and actually goes through um, and <clears throat> is applied to the board as well, to the pads on the board, and not just the connector. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to grab my a little plastic uh, spudgy tool and kind of wedge it underneath. Um, you don't want to wedge it too hard right now because obviously you're not really going to just gonna pull pads if you do that. But I'm just going to kind of heat it up. And um, another thing you can do too um, for this, add a little bit more flux, but um, you can add the big blob of uh, low melt um, just to kind of help it make sure you know just make sure you're not going to be pulling any pans um, so here we go just to kind of show you what I do so slowly pry that underneath and there we go you don't want to you just don't want to be go slow make sure you're not actually going to be pulling any pads so just slow and steady wins the race Mm -hmm. You can't really see um, where the pads are, so you can't really tell if you're actually getting anything, but I'm just kind of go through slow, slow, slow. And there we go. Um, that was. It. There you go. See? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing too complicated. 
Uh, you know, it's just the way I've been doing it. Everyone does it a little bit different. You can use hot air if you want just to quickly take it off and then clean the pads. Um, I don't know. I just I feel more comfortable doing it this way. Um, I mean, if you don't have a hot air station, then you know obviously you're gonna have to use the iron. Um, try to use a, a tip that has a bit that is pretty thick. Um, you don't have to use a plastic spudgy. Um, you can actually use tweezers, but I like the plastic spudgy because it just kind of kind of goes through. So um, do whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean these up here. Notice that cut only like a it's not really a small piece but a smallish piece. Um, if you want, you can actually cut like something that's about like a quarter of an inch and um, just drag it across. Um, the only reason I, I uh, you should really use a small piece and not like a long piece is because um, if for whatever reason I don't know if um, if you're using the whole the whole spool. Um, the iron has to do more work heating heating up the entire the entire spool and um, if you're dragging across um, you know this let's just say for instance like this part you're dragging across and then you know because it's transferring the heat um, this m might be a little bit cooler and um, it's not hot enough to uh, actually uh, wick up the solder or melt the solder to wick it up it'll get stuck and you're going to just continue dragging and then it's going to pull the pad and um, you're gonna feel like a like a poo poo head. But um, needs a little bit more. But other than that, it looks good. Um, you now, just if you also when you're dragging, just make sure you're not gonna drag over these. I mean, it doesn't matter if you put solder on them. Um, it just it makes it easier to uh, actually align the charging port if you don't, because um, through the little window, it's a lot easier to see those those little um, pads or points, whatever you want to call it. Uh, see if you can see there. But if you do it over, you know, solder, if you actually put solder on it, it's a little, I mean, it's not too hard, but um, it's a little bit harder to, to see. You can see there and see the difference. Like it's a little bit more brighter. So just uh, be careful with that. So I'm just gonna clean it up now. Um, get some alcohol. Clean, clean, clean. Pads look good. Um, I don't know if you, you notice that I did not take that old adhesive off. Um, that's one another thing I like to do. You don't have to do it. You know, all the stuff that I'm saying that I like to do is exactly as it sounds. It's, uh, sorry. It's, uh, it's stuff that I like to do. So, um, the only reason I leave it on is because, uh, when I put it back, when I put the new one on and align it, um, you can press down on it a little bit and, uh, just to kind of help you, uh, keep it there in place but I think this one I put a little bit too much flux and is no longer usable so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off completely so there we go I'm just gonna grab this here little flux down here and here so um, align it first um, you know put a little solder on one pad once it's aligned and then align the other side I won't put too much and then um, line this side and then go back and go through all the pads once you've got it all done and aligned uh, for this one uh, when soldering it on I like to use the tweezers or the micro pencil um, you can switch out the tip on the bigger one for a smaller tip um, just not too small 
a little bit smaller. Um, I don't know, it's just my my preference. So let me get some solder here. I'm gonna tie it off to my LED light. Try to dangle it down. Hands free. Alright, so align. Put a little bit. Enough to stick it. And then go back over here. And oops, a little bit too much to the left, I think. Align. Stick it. All right, and then just make sure that each one um, you can actually see the pad. Uh, and then you don't want to this one. Can we tell? I think the hole is just a little too small. But pad, 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 pad. There we go. So now you can just go through and solder the whole thing. Um, it's nothing, like I said, nothing too complicated. Um, you just gotta take your time. Um, you know, try not to rush it. And um, I mean, if you're pressed for time, I mean, one thing that can save you some time, like I said, is um, uh, just don't take the board out, just do it right in the iPad. But just try not to use a lot of flux because um, then it's going to be a little bit harder to clean because um, it's going to go underneath the board and around and under the battery. Uh, but um, I mean, if you're using no clean flux, I'm not saying do it and don't worry about getting it all out but uh, you know you don't really have to worry about too much uh, trying to get it all out because no clean flux is as its name uh, no clean flux so you don't have to clean it but you know it's, it's nice to clean it you know in case they you know have to you know they move to another city or you know for whatever reason they're no longer your customer then um, you know wherever they take it to, and they actually do micro soldering, or they have to open it for another repair. Then um, you know when they open it and they see that you know it still has flux, um, then you know it looks a little, a little you know bad for you. Then I mean it just kind of I don't know says something about you. But um, like I said, just go go through clean it up or if you're leaving it in um, don't uh, don't use too much okay I'm just kind of going back through um, just to make sure that it is soldered Um, I don't know if you can't really tell, but um, I'm actually pressing down a little bit. Um, sometimes with the flex cable, it tends to like kind of bend upward. And uh, when you actually put the solder on the pad, uh, on the ribbon, um, it doesn't actually seem like it's, uh, um, you know, it solders onto the pad, but not the actual board. So um, that's the only reason why I, like, uh, I put it down. Um, iPad. Air, it's a little bit easier to see because the ribbon is a little bit transparent. So when you're actually pressing down, and uh, you can see like the flux kind of just flow from underneath that pad, and um, that's I mean that's one way you can tell that it's uh, it's soldered on to the board. But on the you know mini minis, the, all the minis actually, the ribbon is black, so you can't really tell other than just kind of go one by one, take your time. But that's pretty much just it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Stick it in the housing and um, test it out just to make just to see if it, it actually charges. This one actually uh, didn't show charging at all. It was very loose. Um, so I mean that's the only reason why we changed it. Um, oh, a lot of the times too, if it's loose, um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad charging port. It just means that the screws that um, that hold, like it, I don't know, it's like a little bracket kind of thing that kind of goes that the charging port sits inside. It gets those screws at the top get loose, so, and um, all you have to do is really just tighten them down, and that usually kind of fixes some of the wiggle. Um, but this one, it needed to be replaced.
it was um, very very dirty on the inside um, I mean I don't know but um, not done cleaning um, I still have a little bit more cleaning to do but I just wanted to kind of wipe it down a little bit um, just to look at the, uh, the job here and it looks good it's aligned obviously um, so let's go ahead Not sure charging right now, but it's probably been done for a while, so it might take a little bit of time. But um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident that it, it is going to charge. I can um, get the volt voltmeter and test it, but you know, I've never had a charging port. Um, Never had a bad charging port replacement. Let's just say it that way. I think it's probably okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out now, and um, I mean, if it shows if it turns on, I'll leave it sitting for a little while. If it turns on, I'll show. You, I'll come back and show you guys. Um, but um, if it's not that, I'll still come back and um, we'll try to diagnose it further. But I really just think it's it's just a charging port. Um, but um, I don't. I, I really don't know how long it's been dead um, for. So I'm just gonna let, go ahead and let it sit there for a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the um, the, the power the power uh, button uh, cable just so I can come back and just kind of click it and see if it does show charging. Hey guys, so I just wanted to uh, come back and uh, show you real quick that it does turn on and it shows charging. Um, right now it's at 31% from about maybe, I want to say probably about 40 minutes now. Um, but um, I had to replace the U2 on it, which I didn't get to, uh, well I did record, but um, the audio for whatever reason cut out. Um, so it's nothing but silence, so I'm actually not even going to show that part. I did have to replace the U2 and uh, the charging port on this one. The charging port was very loose um, and very dirty, so replace that. Um, still didn't show charging, so replace the U2, and after that, um, it, it uh, started showing that it was charging. and it took a while for it to turn on, but eventually it did turn on. Um, but that's it. So maybe... Um, I'll be able to do another U2 on another iPad soon, um, and I'll be able to upload that video, um, so you guys can at least see that, um, but that's it, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it, and, uh, we'll work on something else next time. Bye!